Let's make a unicorn horn. This is the easiest horn that you will ever make after this video. And let's begin. Let's go to hairstyle. Go to the extra right here and create new. Click this to make sure that we are choosing an extra mesh. Go to edit hairstyle. Select the free and group one. Oh god. You must be wondering of why there's a lot of materials even though I just create new hair mesh It's because I select the previous hair mesh I made Thus, the textures, also known as material in your studio, are transferred to the new hair mesh Assuming I need the previous material in a new model So, to avoid that, just don't click any custom hair material you made previously Or you'll have to delete every single material It's really consuming time at all Honestly, there's no need to follow these two steps because this is how I did my Vroid work since beta version. I just love to do these steps before I make complicated hair design. Open the hairnet by sliding the feet to head Z to the left. Make the hairnet wider by sliding the offsets to the right. Make the hairnet longer by sliding the height to the right. Select the brush or press B for brush. Use brush in single stroke. In Vroid stable version, you can now move, rotate, and resize the hair mesh. Move the hairnet to the center of the forehead. Rotate the hairnet to 30 degrees. Click more than once to make the axis disappear. Now, let's make this mesh more straightforward. We can see the progress right here. But I think the horn is a bit at the scalp. So, click this free and group one again. Go to move and then push the hair mesh forward and then pull it down like this select the hair worn instead of freehand group one adjust to grab parameters to shape the horn adjust the hair width and thickness if the hair mesh looks deformed then we adjust the hair mesh using control point or press c for control point remember to select the hair mesh every time you want to edit the hair mesh hair worn and shape the horn using the graph shape the horn by adding the twist like the name say it all it's just to shape the hair mesh by twisting it suitable for making holes or even making hair drills adjust the twist placement basically it twists based on which direction here's the example of how the twist placement looks like you want the rotation shape more at the tip of the hair mesh or perhaps you want the rotation more at the bottom of the hair mesh move the twist intensity slightly to five. Now let's try to color it. Go to freehand group one. Go to material. Untick the main color and highlight color. Go to the textures. Delete the highlights layer. Pick any color. Customize the brush. The no mirror. Color the center and leave the gap at the end of this layer. Pick different color and color the edges. It's done. <coughs> Do not add bones in horns. We want the horns to stay stiff instead of moving it like hair. And you don't need to use bone weight either in Unity since the hair mesh designed to attach the head. With this, you can now make any type of horns in Vroid Studio. But if you're still struggling making advanced horns for your Vroid model, then here's my 30 types of horns presets available to use whether it's for personal or commercial use. It's saving more time and energy dealing with difficult curves and shapes while working on your Vroid model. Watch these two videos right here that pop out from your skin right now where I talk more about creating the object using hair mesh in your studio see you next week and also Liza.